Alphabet releasing Gemini, its latest and most powerful AI model. Simone Fox went on top of this one. Hey, Simone. Leading our artificial intelligence companies are currently developing even more radical ideas as Google releases its most powerful AI model to date. The tech giant launched Gemini just last week. This is huge. Welcome to the Gemini era. The landscape of AI as we know it today may have shifted dramatically. OpenAI has been receiving almost all the API calls in the open market, but on December 6, 2023, Google announced its newest Titan, Gemini, a large multimodal language model that sent shockwaves throughout the industry. In a stunning display of prowess, Gemini outperformed its nearest competitor, OpenAI's ChatGPT, on 30 out of 32 widely used academic benchmarks. This feat represents a significant leap forward in AI capabilities and has ignited a firestorm of discussion about the future of language models. In this video, we'll be summarizing everything you need to know about Google's stunning Gemini and how Google will be a leading player in the AI space. But before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as we strive to bring the latest and greatest in the world of AI. Let's dive in. Gemini was built from the ground up to be multimodal, which means it can generalize and seamlessly understand and operate across and combine different types of information, including text, code, audio, image, and video. It comes in three sizes, Ultra for highly complex tasks, Pro for enhanced performance and deployability, and Nano for on-device applications. The scale of Gemini's victory is breathtaking, ChatGPT, once the undisputed champion, now stands eclipsed. The 93.8% benchmark dominance isn't a narrow margin, it's a chasm showcasing Gemini's superior mastery across diverse tasks. It excels in natural language processing, demonstrating profound understanding of complex syntax and nuanced meaning. Its reasoning abilities stand out, navigating through logical puzzles and intricate arguments. Even in technical domains, Gemini shines by generating high-quality code and providing accurate answers to harder, more technical scientific questions. This comprehensive superiority across such a broad range of benchmarks leaves no room for doubt. Gemini has set a new benchmark for LLMs. Gemini benefits from its vast and diverse knowledge base. Trained on a staggering data set of public web sources and curated internal data, it possesses a knowledge pool that dwarfs ChatGPTs. This allows it to handle a wider range of prompts, navigating unfamiliar topics, and generate insights that draw upon a deeper understanding of the world. ChatGPT, in comparison, struggles with out-of-domain queries and often resorts to generic responses. Gemini's vast knowledge reservoir ensures its versatility and adaptability, a crucial competitive advantage in today's data-rich world. Let's take a look at some numbers. In this image here, we have Gemini Ultra, the most capable but most resource-intensive model compared to GPT-4. Please pause the video here and take a look at the accuracy comparisons. In the next benchmarks, we can see marginal and significant improvements in accuracy, which implies more precise, insightful responses to prompts as compared to ChatGPT. Having 90% accuracy in questions spanning over 57 subjects as compared to 86.4% from ChatGPT means that we'll get more thorough detail on our answers. From all the text benchmarks, the most improvement we see here is the Python code generation improving over GPT-4 from 67% to 74.4%. That's an impressive 11% accuracy increase. Going over to the multimodal aspect of each company, we can still see Google setting the benchmark across many categories. Please pause the video and take a closer look. In a real-world scenario, imagine analyzing medical images or videos for diagnosing diseases I don't want to waste my time diagnosing you if it's going to be some run-of-the-mill cancer thing, you know? Or interpreting complex scientific diagrams. These are tasks where Gemini's multimodal capabilities give it a clear advantage compared to ChatGPT. Having a 1 to 20% accuracy increase could mean inserting an extra detail or bit of analysis that ChatGPT couldn't establish. 
with BARD possessing more accuracy and implementations of possible works referenced during response generation, Google has a solid chance to take a lot of commercial market share from OpenAI. Could we end up seeing a power transition in 2024? Now to talk about AI safety and governance. Google's emphasis on ethical considerations during development gives Gemini quite a competitive edge. By prioritizing fairness, inclusivity, and transparency, Google aims to mitigate the potential harms associated with powerful AI technology. This proactive approach contrasts with some criticisms leveled at ChatGPT, which has faced concerns about bias, potential for misuse, and data leaks. The foundation for Gemini safety lies in its meticulously designed training data and processes. Google prioritized diversity and inclusivity by ingesting and transforming a massive data set that spans different cultures, perspectives, and demographics. This inclusivity helps mitigate the inherent biases that can typically creep into AI models trained on limited or homogeneous data. Furthermore, Google employed careful techniques for debiasing and filtering harmful content, ensuring that Gemini learns from ethical and responsible sources. Complex LLMs like Gemini typically have a black box kind of nature. We often struggle to understand how they arrive at their outputs, making it difficult to identify potential biases or errors. Gemini tackles this head on by offering various explainability tools. Its developers have made available detailed reports that outline the reasoning behind its responses, allowing users to understand the logic and evidence it draws upon. Additionally, features like counterfactual analysis minimize the influence of specific biases or assumptions. Gemini also incorporates robust human oversight mechanisms. Before it generates outputs for real-world applications, trained human experts review and validate the responses, ensuring that they align with guidelines. This human-in-the-loop approach adds a crucial layer of safety, preventing potential harmful or biased outputs from entering the real world. Transitioning from AI safety, what are the future implications of Gemini's release? For OpenAI, Gemini's arrival presents a very stark crossroad. The timing of this release couldn't have been more inconvenient. The drama at OpenAI with Sam Altman and the board has shown a power struggle for the direction of the company and AI. With about 90% of the company threatening to leave the company due to leadership restructuring, the leadership team must work on regaining the trust and motivation of their workforce again. Not only do they still have to sort out this issue, but the once undisputed LLM champion must also grapple with a competitor surpassing its capabilities in many benchmarks and ratings. To possibly regain its competitive edge, OpenAI could focus on refining its existing strengths in text-based interactions and creative writing, potentially doubling down on areas like ChatGPT's artistic flair. Alternatively, it could embrace the paradigm shift initiated by Gemini, prioritizing advancements in multimodal integration and ethical considerations, potentially redefining its core strengths and goals. Regardless of its chosen path, OpenAI's response to Gemini's challenge will significantly reshape the future of LLM landscape, fostering either increased competition or collaborative innovation. Will they blow out Gemini with the release of future versions of ChatGPT? Will another cutting-edge multimodal model be released and be on par with or surpass Google and OpenAI? We'll find out, most likely in 2024. Moving along to another future implication, Google's decision to make various versions of Gemini available through its Vertex AI program and AI Studio democratizes access to this powerful technology. This opened doors for countless possibilities, empowering small businesses, developers, and even individual researchers to leverage Gemini's capabilities for their projects. As a result, we can expect a surge of innovation across various sectors, inspired by the seamless integration of new AI models. As we speak, there are businesses and developers already experimenting with Gemini and have seen drastic results already in things like automating the analysis of large text. This democratization fosters a competitive landscape where OpenAI faces not just one powerful rival, but potentially a multitude of innovative players utilizing and building upon Gemini's technology. Lastly, 
In the future, there will be a huge demand for people talented in AI safety and governance. Governments and policymakers will work with the tech industry to establish clear regulations and frameworks for AI development to answer questions like, how do we make sure AI doesn't hallucinate? How do we make sure its answers are not biased? How can we foster healthy human and AI relationships? Since entering the Gen AI space, Google has made it a point to commit to their AI principles, which extensively describe the commitment to developing technology responsibly, and it's no different with the release of Gemini. With Google hiring their junior engineers from schools in the Bay Area like Stanford and UC Berkeley or the other Ivy League schools across the nation, we can imagine that schools or computer science courses will change by instilling the importance of AI safety time and time again like never before to ensure that AI won't be weaponized and misused. Don't forget to subscribe to AI Symbiosis for the latest news in the world of AI. Will you be using Google's Gen AI tools more than OpenAI's? Let us know in the comment section below. We've also made a video on how Elon Musk's Grok compares to ChatGPT. To find out, click on the video link showing up right now, and we'll catch you there in a second.